Welcome to Key Tech. Please describe this channel if you are interested in today's video. Recently, as soon as Trump came to power, he overturned the policies of the Biden team. Whatever Biden supports, Trump will definitely oppose, just like the cheap bill and electric vehicle support, which have become Trump's eyesore. On the first day of his inauguration, Trump announced a series of new regulations in a swift and resolute manner, saying that he would change the face of the United States. This posture looks like he is going to overturn all the executive orders signed by Biden before. Biden signed an executive order before, saying that half of the new cars sold in the United States in 2030 must be electric vehicles. This is originally a good thing, environmentally friendly and energy-saving. But as soon as Trump came to power, he withdrew this order in a snap. Not only that, he signed more than 80 documents in one breath, including a natural gas export ban, which is really fast. Now everyone is worried that Trump will even withdraw the subsidies for the chip bill, signed by Biden. You know, this chip bill was launched by the United States at a high price in order to revitalize the domestic chip industry. Promise to subsidize those chip giants so that they can build factories and produce chips in the United States. But this matter has been dragged on. Chip companies have urged again and again, but the United States just won't move. Later, when it really couldn't drag on any longer, the United States began to slowly determine the details and amount of the subsidies. The funniest thing here is TSMC. It originally thought it was the big name of the return of American chip manufacturing, but the subsidies came as slowly as a snail. Other American chip companies have received subsidies one after another, but TSMC didn't sign an agreement with TSMC until mid-November last year, when Biden knew he was going to step down. According to the agreement, TSMC's factories in the United States can receive $6.6 billion in direct funding and $5 billion in loans. Moreover, TSMC also received the first batch of $1.5 billion in cheap subsidies. TSMC just breathed a sigh of relief, but Trump came to power unexpectedly, and the situation suddenly became confusing again. Trump has long been dissatisfied with the cheap bill. He said that the United States spent so much money to subsidize cheap companies and wanted to make the semiconductor supply chain more perfect, which is not a good way. He thinks that if you want to improve the ability of the United States to produce chips locally, just collect tariffs directly. To be honest, this method does make sense. Just like when the EU planned to impose high tariffs on Chinese electric vehicles, Many Chinese manufacturers plan to build factories in the EU to save tariffs. Although this method is tough, the effect is quite obvious. At least from the current point of view, it is much faster than slowly improving. Moreover, Trump has accused that cheap companies in Taiwan have taken away the business of American companies. This attitude is not friendly at all. Now that Trump is so tough, it is very likely to take action on the cheap bill, either withdraw it or readjust the details. TSMC is anxious now and quickly said that they have received the first batch of subsidies for the cheap bill. They also think that Trump will continue to provide them with the agreed subsidies for their investment in the United States. But who believes this? It is impossible to change Trump's mind by taking the initiative. So, TSMC put out other chips. They said 
that they have maintained a long-term friendly cooperative relationship with the United States. Cheap factories in the United States have been built. The cheap production and supply system in the United States is still imperfect. How many local chips they can produce for the United States and how many jobs they can create. In short, TSMC's factory in the United States has been built and will soon contribute to the domestic chip manufacturing in the United States, such as production data and jobs. And they also pointed out the shortcomings of the U.S. supply chain, saying that American companies still have to rely on chips produced by TSMC. It seems that TSMC's win is quite large because they now have the advantage of advanced chip production and manufacturing. In this link, no company can compete with TSMC. American companies have to extend an olive branch to TSMC. But I think this matter is not that simple. Trump is not simply overturning the strategy of the Biden team now. His ambition is very big. Especially in the field of chip manufacturing, what they want may not be external chip factories, but to turn these chip factories directly into their own. Because only in this way, that is the real American chip manufacturing. Do you think that if the United States can master the core technology of chip production by itself, does it still need to look at TSMC's face? What they want is to dig up TSMC's technology and talents, or simply turn TSMC's factories in the United States into their own companies. In this way, TSMC is embarrassed. They invested so much money in building factories in the United States, and originally thought that they could get subsidies and make some money. Now, not only may they not get subsidies, but the factories may also become someone else's. This is really a big dilemma. Moreover, Trump's style of doing things has always been tough and unpredictable. He may suddenly come up with a big move to catch TSMC off guard. So I think TSMC's dilemma this time may be bigger than expected. So what should TSMC do? I think they have to think of a countermeasure quickly. On the one hand, they should continue to communicate with the U.S. government and emphasize their importance to the U.S. chip industry. On the other hand, they must also prepare for the worst, such as considering moving factories in the United States to other countries or increasing investment in other countries. Of course, this is easier said than done. TSMC's factories in the United States have already been built, and it will take time to move. Moreover, they have to consider a series of issues such as employees, equipment, and supply chain. This is really a headache. In short, after Trump took office, the situation of the U.S. chip industry has become confusing again. As an important part of it, TSMC is also facing huge challenges.